Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to the Hump Day edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today, making her second appearance, is Amanda from Gingerly Baked. Hi, Larry. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome again. back. So it's great, like, you know, we started this to help restaurants and, and businesses during the pandemic, and now we're like, we've been doing it over a year, and now it's time to bring people back and see what's happened to their businesses since they were here the first time, see if they've gotten bigger, see how they've pivoted. But give me a little history of you and Gingerly Baked. So a little history of me, I've been in the baking and pastry industry for 18 years now. Wow. I started when I was 15, that's the only thing I've done, it's always been my passion. Um, I've done a little bit of everything from restaurants, bakeries, banquet halls, private clubs, everything you can imagine. So I've had a little experience and lots of stuff. I've moved out here about eight years ago. Um, Where'd you move from? Connecticut. Okay. And my husband and I, we love it out here. This is now our home. Um, I started Gingerly Baked at the beginning of COVID because I found myself bored. And also I thought it was a great opportunity to finally possibly work for myself. So I figured yep. it didn't hurt to give it a try. Um, and it has really taken off. I've kind of changed. I started out doing smaller orders. You know, at the beginning of COVID, people just need birthday cakes for four to six people. It's just having Which like is a little, tough way to make a living. Yeah, really hard. Now that we can gather again and weddings are happening again, I kind of changed my business model to more of a dessert event caterer. So I'm catering weddings, other private events, and I'm hoping to get into um, some corporate business soon. Yeah. That's the goal. It, I don't know. Do a lot of people specialize in corporate dessert catering? I really haven't seen any. Yeah, I, I think there's got to be other people <laughs> out there doing okay. it, I'm sure. But pastry is my specialty. Yes. Yeah. So I feel like it makes it special. A lot of times when um, you're getting desserts from a caterer that specializes in culinary, you know, it's only going to be so special or um, so detailed oriented. So I kind of take it to another level. We got a lot of amazing treats here. Yeah. I want to start jumping into them. Let's talk about what we got over here. A lot of people have been wanting to see the inside of my cakes. So this is one of my most popular flavors. It's a strawberries and cream. It's a white sponge cake with vanilla bean mousse, fresh strawberries. Um, so if you get a wedding cake from me, this is what your cake slice will look like. It's about this size, an inch by two inches. And I'm guessing you can do all different sizes of cake? Yeah, so um, typically, a wedding cake can be, the fun thing is you can have as much out on display as you'd like. So you can have a five, a six tiered cake, or you can have as small as a two tiered wedding cake and have a sheet cake in the back that's uh, not on display. Yeah. So everyone can have cake no matter how much, um, what depending what you're looking for your display cake to be. I might have a bite of that in a second. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. And this is my signature lemon raspberry. It's yellow butter cake with raspberry preserves, fresh raspberries, and lemon mousse. Yeah, that's a good one too. I think, yeah, the wedding cake business has got to be a lot more profitable than the birthday cake business. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, I brought a variety of my mini sweets. So this is great if you're having a buffet. These are my little mousse cups. This is a, a lemon blueberry. So you have lemon mousse, lemon curd, and a blueberry compote on the bottom, and that is gluten-free. Something that I specialize gluten -free. in is- Gluten-free. Yes. Um, gluten-free, vegan, and um, all dietary restrictions, whether you're egg-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, vegan, I can make a version of all my sweets for you. Well, that's delicious. Which is not easy to come by. Here are some of my bars. That is my uh, brownie with just a chocolate glaze. And then you have a lemon bar on a shortbread crust. And then my mocha cheesecake, which has a Oreo crust with a mocha swirl. You fancy. Yeah. Just keeping it yeah. this vein. These are little tartlets, which are fun. They come in all different sizes, tons of different flavors. That is my chocolate caramel. Salted caramel, so it's a chewy caramel on the inside and a ganache. It's kind of like a candy bar. It has definitely become one of my most popular desserts. Can I crack it open? Yeah, let's do it. This is a good it's spot. So good. Yay. <laughs> no, I didn't eat that too. I don't eat till after the show. 
Oh, whoops, we didn't do that. Yeah, I'll go through those fast. And, Ooh, getting right? Low. The salt is like a salted. I got the salt now. Mm -hmm. um, that's really good. <laughs> Those are, that's my coconut mango cream tart. So you got a coconut cream on top, toasted coconut, mango curd. Yeah, that's a really <laughs> good one too. That is my blackberry passion fruit. So you have passion fruit curd, fresh blackberries, and a little gold leaf if you want to be a little fancy. I feel like it elevates it. It does. And, and then I have my um, key lime tartlet with meringue, you know, a classic like key lime pie. Like how you torch the meringue. Yeah, I do a lot of the classics. I do some things that are out of the ordinary, different flavors like Earl Grey and green tea. I, I can really customize my desserts for your events, mm -hmm. look, look wise and flavor wise. I make chocolates. Um, they're great as a party favor. I just had a wedding last week that used them as their party favor, which was really cute. So like a box like this? Yeah, that's my six piece. I actually did a four piece for them. So I could do, I think four to six is perfect size. Yeah, you want it would less favor. than that and probably not more. Yeah. And what's, it, what are each one of these? So the gold long one, that is coffee dulce de leche. Mm. The white chocolate is strawberries and cream. Okay. The milk chocolate, smaller one is around, that's with the purple, yeah, that's my Earl Grey. And then the little square dark chocolate is a salted caramel too. <laughs> Everyone loves chewy salted caramel. Yes, they do. Can't go wrong with that. Yes, they do. But again, like all these things can be any flavor. I have a huge menu where I, I offer things in a tiered system. So it's kind of like um, by uh, per guest pricing and you can pick a variety of desserts from each category on my menu. So I have bites, tartlets, bars, mousse cups. I do trifles, which are layered. I can do all my signature cakes as a trifle in a little cup. What's uh, do you have a minimum? Uh, my minimum right now is 200. Okay. Do you have a maximum? Um, no. <laughs> Heck no. <laughs> You'll take stop. any size. <laughs> yes. Um, I really love making wedding cakes. That is definitely my okay. passion. I got into baking and pastry because I love art. And uh, I always loved cooking. And that's how it all came together. And I've been able to learn a lot of new techniques and practice new skills. I would not have had the opportunity if I didn't work for myself. That's what kind of lead time you, do you need? I'm currently booked out through September 30th. I have some availability in October. I'm like half booked. Okay. So for wedding, I'm booking weddings right now for next year. So I, I always say like the sooner the better. Mm -hmm. um, at, like during wedding season, at least four to six weeks. And then so you'll deliver it to the wedding venue? Yes, I okay. deliver it to the wedding venue. I set up um, so that you don't have to worry about that. So you'll set up like a display of it all, make it look pretty. Yeah, yep. That's what, so I'm doing uh, not like full service catering. I don't actually work the event. Most sure. venues and caterers offer to cut the cake. Um, but I give them all detailed instructions. So they're not left high and dry. Right. Um, What's your website? You can find me at gingerlybaked.com. My Instagram is gingerly underscore baked. And my Facebook is gingerlybakedco. And you can reach me at amanda at gingerlybaked.com. I'm going to have some cake. Yes, that's my yellow butter cake. It's lemon raspberry. Settle down. You'll, I'm not eating the whole thing, Josh. I'll save you some. Sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you. Great for to see you. Really uh, we'll be, uh, have what's for lunch today. We have Walking Taco, a food truck. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. I'm going to eat pretty much all of this. But for now, let's eat. So many wedding cakes are like overly sweet. This is awesome. I do a European style buttercream, mm -hmm. so it's light and fluffy, and I'm all about the filling. So I'm like, get a curd, a custard, a mousse inside, buttercream inside, and now it's boring. Maybe you won't get a bite, Josh. <laughs>